You think you're scaring me? Not. Move. What a dumb bitch. <laughs> Just do it. Oh my god. Hey, Hi. we're back. Not wearing a hat. Forgot my hat. Broke the streak. Just uh. Hey. I just want to apologize. I have a hole in my pants. Oh yeah. That's what frame rate is. Yeah, uh, we it's are a hole in your crotch. We are living just on the brink of death. We don't have any money. You know, we care so much about the sick and the needy. You know, yeah. all of our ad revenue goes straight to charity. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia, they need help, guys. Yeah, ISIS definitely needs our help out there. Let's talk about Hellfest. It's a movie we just saw. Really? It was either Hellfest or that Kevin Hart movie. Maybe in the first 10 minutes of the movie, I was like, yeah, it's probably gonna be poopy fart. But it kind of redeemed itself. It, mm -hmm. it was actually pretty good. I was surprised. But not. Truth or dare, good. Mm -mm. Truth or dare is up here, Hellfest is down here. That space in the middle, that, that magic, this movie didn't have the magic. There isn't too much to say because this movie is very average. It's very mediocre. Too. One thing that there is to praise is the set design. I think that was really well done. All the spooky mazes and the movie looked good. Oh, there are some shots that I was like, that's actually very nice. That's very good. Good job. And it had a consistent kind of tone to it, which I really appreciated. But on the flip side, the acting is bleh. You know, it's not the worst acting. It's not good. It's the dialogue, same thing. It's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's not good. It, it tried to force a chemistry between the characters and it was it was too obvious. It was almost, I don't want to say cringy, but it, it, was, it just wasn't hitting home. Ah, it could have been so much better. I wish the antagonist was more intimidating. All he did was kind of just stand around. Yeah. And there's only one scene where you see him kind of running and he just stumbles and runs into a wall. Wait, I can run? He hits the wall and he's like, huh. He has access to everywhere. He ends up in places where he should not be given the time. It's just this man is almost God. It really takes me out of the character's perception of what's going on. It doesn't put me in the movie anymore because like, that's impossible. It's the stupidest fucking shit. It happens all the time. It's a common horror thing. I hate it so much. And you can have really good slash flicks that have really good, uh, what's the word? Uh, common sense, mm. logic. This movie kind of lacks that in a lot of areas. Oh, another huge disappointment I had was the deaths, the kill scenes. This is a slasher movie. And there was only maybe two that was like, woohoo! You know, everything else was just like, blah. It spent so much time looking pretty and showing the cool set designs, which are really cool mm. and really pretty. But the meat and potatoes of the movie, the slasher formula, the gore, the violence is very lacking. But it was just nice to see a movie commit and just let the shot go on for two or three more seconds showing the brutality of the killer instead of just <laughs> cut and you don't see shit. Man. I did actually like the ending of the movie though. I thought that was really nice. It was, it was short and sleep. You're just like, oh, that's how it's gonna end, huh? Yeah, it sneaks, it sneaks up on you. But what happened right before the ending was very, eh, yeah. it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. It was just, eh, just like what we've been saying. It's just, eh. And it sucks because the movie could have been really cool. It could have been like, that's a really nicely executed slasher flick. There's a limit. You're like, all right, we've shown a lot of sets. You know, maybe we'll focus on more gore now, more yeah. whatever. But it just didn't do that. It was like more sets, more shots. We spent so much money on this. We have to film it. Yeah, <laughs> no, guys, probably please. how it's probably how it went. Please. It does start to feel very repetitive and redundant by the end of the movie. You're kind of just like, okay, cut to the chase. Yeah, yeah literally. <laughs> I'm gonna give this movie a not so confident, but flat six. And this movie had positives to it. It just didn't live up to everything else that's good about the slasher genre. It could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. It won't be remembered, but it'll take me a good two days to forget. So I mean, that's saying something, right? Yeah, I've been torn. I was like, five or a six? Oh wait, we're framing it. We have a middle ground. I'm gonna give this a 5.5 out of 10. There's some mediocrity in there. There's some just plainness in there. There's some cool stuff like the sets. There's some bad stuff like the gore and lack of gore. It's not the worst thing you'll ever see this year, but just don't, you don't, you don't gotta watch this. Don't watch anything coming out this week. Just go eat some pizza. Eat some pizza, re-watch the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and have a good time. This video's a boring uh, video. We can't say anything. I hate these videos. Man, yeah. they suck. We have, we I can't. want movies to be either really good or really bad. I hate these in-betweens, mm. man. It's we just... have no personality right now. Uh, what do we see next week? Venom? Venom! Venom! Knock, knock, the devil in. Yeah. And we'll see you later. Goodbye. That's I'm very... a sick bug. I like a quick bug. Get a swastika tattooed on the back of my head to show my brothers that I'm there for them. <laughs> <laughs>